<laughs> Laugh all you want, but a sequel to The Joker could be well on its way. Sources tell The Hollywood Reporter that Joker director Todd Phillips went to Warner Brothers in hopes of acquiring the rights to develop a portfolio of DC character origin stories, but instead reportedly walked out with the rights to a sequel of the infamous Batman villain. With Joker having crossed the $1 billion mark, it's easy to see why a sequel could be the next logical step. THR has learned that Phillips is in talks to reprise his role as director for the second outing, with him and Scott Silver, who penned the first gritty Joker screenplay, writing the follow-up. Warner Brothers supposedly also has sequel options in place for the film's star, Joaquin Phoenix, who's also been eyed as a strong contender in the Oscar Best Actor race. Joker marks the fourth DC title to cross $1 billion, following the footsteps of 2018's Aquaman with $1.15 billion, 2012's The Dark Knight Rises with $1.08 billion, and 2008's The Dark Knight with $1 billion. But the kicker here is that Joker's $60 million budget is far less than those previous films, so it's almost assured to generate profits of more than $500 million. So again, when all is said and done, a sequel seems like pretty much a no-brainer. As for the origins of the Cape Crusader, don't bank on that anytime soon. While Phillips already toyed with the idea of Bruce Wayne's origins in this film, he won't be exploring Batman's backstory. That task is already in the hands of writer-director Matt Reeves, who's the Batman starring Robert Pattinson is coming to theaters June 25th, 2021. All right guys, for more updates to this story, head to THR.com. And until next time for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.